As the first content rollout for Sea of Thieves in 2020 draws ever closer, we can all speculate what is to come. And in light of the recent 2022 preview event, I do believe it is plausible that we could see an ever-changing map in the game. Before we get into the video, make sure to join over 400 members in the Mystic Penthouse Discord server to speak with other members of this amazing community. If you'd like to join the Penthouse suite along with so many others, visit the link in the description. If you'd also like to support the channel and myself in making more content, consider becoming a member by clicking the join button for exclusive rewards. Finally, make sure to subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications, it's completely free and I would love to reach my goal of 10,000 subscribers so each and every one of you can help by subscribing, liking, commenting and sharing the channel with your friends and family. In the new teaser trailer, two things really stood out to me. Golden Sands and this. It really got me thinking. With the current direction of games where throughout the year we see the map develop and evolve and I might add through seasonal content which Sea of Thieves now has, I think 2022 could be the year where Rare start integrating this new meta of ever evolving games into Sea of Thieves, with each season climaxing with a brand new world change. This would give the game so much more life and ability to consistently replay and have fun exploring new areas which would be limited to that specific season. If we think back to when Fortnite first introduced seasons or even Warzone, the first few seasons is where they first plant their feet into the ground. It was only later on in this concept where we began to see end of season events and changes to the map around you to keep the game fresh. From the teaser where we get to see Golden Sands in a green shroud, this could be the first indication of a change that we will see in our world. And over the course of a season or two, perhaps we will see an all out war occur in front of our eyes, where we would see some of our beloved islands being taken by Flameheart and the Dark Brethren. This would be such a cool direction to take the story outside of the median of Tall Tales, but instead telling a story through gameplay across a longer period of time. We all know that feeling of getting the new tall towers but then completing them over one weekend and that being it. This is truly where I believe the game is heading, with places like the new fortress cropping up throughout the season preparing for war. And it will be interesting to see how Rare outlined this in the 2022 preview event. Rare seems very keen through teasers and media outside of the game to shed light on the lore and more story driven content and I think they want to feed more of that into the game. Believe it or not, they do probably listen to the players who play their game and have probably considered creating new tool tales, but they've also recognized that this is not as repayable as the base game. And this is where I feel that seasonal content will now begin to change the map and feed more limited time events and story into the game for players to be excited about. To finish off the video, I would like to shed light on an example to show how I think this would actually work within Sea of Thieves based on the trailers we have seen so far. Currently, there are a few forces at play within the Sea of Thieves lore. We have the Dark Brethren, Flameheart and his army, and then the Pirate Legend slash Athena. Over a season, we would see islands fall to Flameheart, signified by the Green Shroud. And these areas would be overrun by skeletons and crews of the damned. They would then fortify these islands both on sea and on the islands themselves and could be some sort of limited time event where players would have to unite in order to defeat Flameheart and recapture the islands. However, once we have done this and recaptured the islands, the outposts and islands themselves would remain scarred, but they have left secrets behind which could lead into a following season with a new plan for the Sea of Thieves. The same with the Dark Brethren, they could be sourcing an army from below the depths leaving fleets of shipwrecks in their way. Side note, this is actually what I think the shipwrecks are in the teaser. These concepts and ideas would be what brings life back into Sea of Thieves, making it fun to play over and over and be excited about what's to come at the end of the season, not just a golden glory weekend. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe, leave a like, check out the other videos on my channel and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you.